In this video, we're going to look at setting options. The options dialog box is found in the settings menu. The options box will allow you to set up your choice of how the software will perform various functions. There are seven different tabs that can be selected for setting up options. We're going to look at the general tab and the scrolling tab in this video. In the general tab, you can set how often the software will auto save your design. The default setting is 10 minutes. You can also choose to show the tool names for all of your icons. Simply place a check mark next to that and click OK and you'll see that you now have names under each of your icons. This is going to help you learn the icons if you are a new user. Also in the options dialog box, you can choose to show large icons. The pointer position will be affected by whether or not you choose relative or absolute. Relative means that the digitized point is going to be referenced from the last digitized point, while absolute is from the first needle point of the design. This applies when you are digitizing designs. And I'll show you this in just a minute. You also have the choice of three different programs to touch up artwork that you bring into the software. Paint is selected by default. You can also elect to use Corel Photo Paint, which was added as part of the Corel installation. Paint Shop Pro is a third option, but will only be highlighted if you have purchased the program and installed it on your computer. These options in the other category will be discussed in other videos. Now let's look at the scrolling tab. Auto scrolling is enabled by default and this will cause the screen to move to another location when your mouse approaches one of the corners of the screen. If you're a new user, then you may wish to uncheck this option. You can also change how the pointer is going to react after it is scrolled and also change the behavior of the mouse wheel. It will either zoom or scroll based on your choices in the option menu. After changing your options, you simply click OK. Now let's look at what the relative and absolute positions mean. If I choose a digitizing icon, and as I move my mouse, you can see that the values are changing down here in the status bar. The X and Y axis values change, as well as the length, which is designated by L, and the angle changes based on my mouse movements. So again, if I choose relative positions, that means that those values are going to change based on the last digitized point, or absolute would be from the first needle point of the design. Now to look at what auto scroll means, as I am digitizing and my mouse is approaching the corner of the design, you see how it moves the design screen. By holding down the Alt key, I can temporarily disable auto scroll and that will allow me to come up and choose one of the icons. Remember that your options will remain from design to design unless you go back into the dialog box and change them.